face dampers I'm back now and this is definitely going to be the last one I really wanted to finish in the, um, in the fifth one but time got so much I found some doilies that were gifted to my the gorgeous Denise um, I have finished off layering those cards I've popped a few stickers in and I've done these for my recipes and I've popped them in there I've added some more stickers just to hide that boo-boo I made and then this and I've just I had these delivered the other day so what I'm going to do I am having one attached here at the very front and I'll use my hot glue gun for that I've got some white satin ribbon quite wide and then I'm going to glue this on the back in two lovely strands before I put my DSP on just check in. I might not need it all the way down. I'm just going to have it on there. So when it comes to adding the DSP on the back, these then will tie through there and make a gorgeous bow and closure. Whoops. So let's grab some double-sided tape. And then once my DSP goes down, it will all be hidden on there too. believe how much glue I get on myself it's unreal I placed an order yesterday for some one inch double sided tape only so I could you know it was cheap £13 for six 50 metre rolls and I've just had an email now saying they've cancelled my order and they'll refund me the money I don't want the money back I want the tape <laughs> perhaps they've gone out of stock I don't know but they shouldn't advertise then if they haven't got any so, not happy chappy. So, I'm just going to stick one on there and one on there. Because I always seem to forget the closures, but just lately I'm being more and more aware of it. So, I've got to really, I've, I've got to find a piece of paper now that is going to go on my back cover because I think I've used them all now. And I don't think I've got one piece big enough. No, I haven't. The only one I've got left is either the red stripe or the spots. Well, spots and stripes it'll have to be. This is the only slice I've got left. <laughs> Didn't think that one through, Gaina Gaina. So... Uh, our album is 8 by 10 and I've got a tiny little crack there. Oh my goodness, I don't know how that happened. So let's get that last piece on the back. Everything else is covered, I don't really need anything else. So let's get this cut up. So 9 and 3 quarters. By 7 and 3 quarters should do for my back piece now these are getting really low so I did do well I did I did I did indeed but I've just got to put them on the floor now because I've got no nothing to stand them on so this is the back I'm, I'm going to have to go with the stripes. I love the stripes. So, let's get our last back page done. Then we can add the pages. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this. Sorry about that. I lifted it up too high. Lashings of glue. Love that satin ribbon. That was a gift off the gorgeous Georgie Burns. She gave me about 20 rolls of ribbon. And I just had an idea. Oh, even though I know this is the back page. 
see what we've got left on here. Mum's diner. Sit down, be quiet and eat. That can go on the back. <laughs> I love this recipe book. Your opinion is not part of the recipe. <laughs> and then down the spine, the, what I've got left, I've got these gorgeous sticker scissors. I love to eat. So I, the, after I've got, I've got a strip of this left. Is that wide enough for there? Oh, let's see what I've got here. Nope. This is definitely, definitely, definitely going to be white. I'm just going to take that down to two and three quarters. And again, the stripes are going on. The, the front is the main part, so I'm down to scraps. Yay! <laughs> Whoops, nearly had nothing then. Yeah, I was testing the ribbon out with the hook, the loop, and I pressed down on top of the album and a little bit of the back cracked. I was like, oh my god, I've done the whole video. But it's only a little tiny bit and it's, I think it's at the bottom. And it's only for me. It's my cookbook. I will share the recipes that go in it, but you're not getting your hands on this. <laughs> it looks so shabby. Oh, I've just added that sticker and it's upside down. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> oh, can I get that off there? Oh, it's going to rip, isn't it? Gently, 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 gently. Gently, 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 gently. Good save. Right, I'm pointing at the bottom anyway. I'm just turning it round. Oof. So, there it is. We've got these gorgeous little jars and teaspoons as well. I'm just going to plaster these on. Give it some funkiness. Getting funky with it. Da -da 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 -da. Just want to use up the last of these. So a little fried egg. Mm. Spaghetti and meatball. Just dashing these all over the place now because. I don't want to save any of them because there's no reason. So let's just add them on. Traditions. Huh. Your opinion is not a part of the recipe and like I'm saying, I'm having that done. I won't bother with that one a sec. Uh, I've just got some little arrows and stuff. Pointing at the food. Little love. Shake it up. Ah. Simmer down. Another arrow here. Doo -doo -sh -doo -doo -doo. Ding ding ding. And I've just found, oh, I've got some kind of little, little love hearts as well. They're red. So there's only really the there's two black chevrons. There's a, uh, a, a 
don't know what that strip would be there for, but I'll just stick it down here. And two little black chevrons. Just funky in the back up. Cool. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. So I'll do that after. Right, open our pages. This is starting to come up for some reason. It's the heat in this house. It's, it's horrendous. Right, pages going in. Going to stop gabbing, and I might not even have enough long enough strips to put these in. So these are our oranges. This is what's going in here, and I just hope I have got enough space. I'm going to have the first one there, and if I have to overlap them, I will. So, let's glue. I'm going, to have, I'm going to add tape as well, just to be on the safe side. Tape and glue, that way we can be assured that nothing is coming off. Get my block. So good finish. I just hope I've got enough space in here. I'm going to have to make one of those stands on I so I can open it up and lean it back while I'm looking at the recipes. So I'm going to turn it this way so I can see, and then I'm just going to start make sure I'm not going over any, let me just check. Just to the. Don't worry about those. Because what we're going to do now with our next page. That's right. This one is going to sit. Just over there, there, let's just strengthen it, just giving myself a quarter inch gap. Virtually done, so perfect. Oh. So just fold that over. Orange gap, and then because these then open up pretty flat, so we've got a ooh, I've got space now for the next one. With this next two, I'm gonna add the back page in first. No, I'm not, I'm gonna have to do that one next. So that one is going to go right next to there, and the other one's going right next to there. So we're going to have a bit more of a gap on this one. Block. Oh, 
love it. Plenty of both. Perfect. So again, just going to bend that over. This then is going to sit right next to that one. A bit more of a gap because we've things that open up. And I'm going to burnish that in. If I have to, I will use DSP from somewhere else but with very similar colours, plainish colours, that way we can, that's my last page, there it is, love it, bon appetit. Block, perfect, go away now. Put the tape away properly, gain it, although it sticks to everything. I'm going to have a go. Stay tea and coffee staining me on papers. I like them, the vintage cards, uh, albums too. So again, this one, just fold that back and then this rests right against this piece and right against there. Give it a good burnish down. Perfect. Let me just get rid of that. And now our pages are in. We've got plenty of space. Stop where it shows everything up. They're all lined up beautifully. Nice. Nice. And our first page. Nice. And they're all inged beautifully. And when the book sits up, they all tuck in together. waterfall pages I think. There we go. Oh I love it. I love it. So let's <laughs> I don't oh have I done something wrong? No I haven't. It's okay. There we go. It's all coming together. So while we're gas bagging, just for two minutes I'm gonna get my hot glue gun out. to uh, warm up, so we're going to, oh gosh, I made myself jump, so our pages are in, and it's absolutely huge, maybe I should have, because there is space on there, maybe I should have just give them the three quarter inches in between, but I am loving that, I would definitely want some strips if I can, if I've got anything long enough. I'm just seeing what I've got. I've only got one by the looks of it. Let's see if I've got any tall pieces. 
in amongst these few bits that I've got left. I'll just put the little ones to one side. So there's a tall one. There's a tall one. There's a pretty tall one. I might just have enough. Oh, fingers crossed, girls. Fingers crossed. That's a tall one, but it's not tall enough. And these are definitely not tall enough. Right. Whew. So, that is tall enough. Just, oh my goodness. So, I'm going to do those. Where's my gap? I'm going to do those at three quarters of an inch each strip. Nine and three quarters. That is. And three quarters of an inch. these down to nine and three quarters. And three quarters. That is now just short of one and a half. So I might get two out of this. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. That's slanted. Look at that. Oh, silly sausage. three quarters. Nearly. Yes it is now. So I'm going to cut two of these and well I'm going to cut the three so making sure it's little. Because I'm terrible for that. When you're doing small pieces like this, oh, you've got to make sure it's level. And I always like to cut up. What happened there? Oh, oh I'm disastrous. Disasterous. Kim is having a bad day. There we go. Right, I think we should have enough pieces now. Ooh, we'll have we'll have these strips in here. This will help to strengthen the hinges as well. I have to cut one down to half inch because we'd give us a half inch border, didn't we, on one. We'll see when we get to that one. We 
you could even add little strips in there, but I don't think I've definitely not got enough of those. So, we'll see now that's a little bit wide. I should have done these half inches. Oh my gosh! Right, this it is. I will be back in two seconds. I'm just going to cut these strips down to half inch. Right there, let's see what that one's like. That one's okay. When you're not working with a full sheet. <laughs> so warm in here the humidity is making this glue not want to stick so let's turn that page let's find if see if we've got another one that might be a little bit on the slim side that one's okay does this glue go off i believe it's got an expiry date but does it go off off as in it's unusable? I know you can't ship it when it's frozen and stuff like that. Look, it doesn't, just doesn't want to stick. There we go. This one needs a very thin one. Let's just leave that one for now. And let's do it. We need half inch strips for these. So let me just trim them quickly and I shall be straight back. That one's not wide enough, is it? That's too wide. Yeah, I like that though. Let me just give this one a quick trim. is brilliant. So that seems a little bit long. I love this. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's get that on there. That's, that's me done. I'm done. That's enough strips going in. So I've got decoration down this side. We've got this. Let's have a look at what we got now. So we've got a pinch of, a pinch of this, a dash of that. My little washi tape needs to be stuck back down. We've got then, we've got these. I haven't matted them, but I'm going to leave them so I can use white pen. And I got this as well. Beautiful. We've got our little tags at the side. We've got our pockets for our recipe cards to go in there and there. I've got no stickers left except for this one. This 
is well cute. Then we flip this over and we've got this section which opens out here. Perfect. Then we've got our slidey recipe card which will pop out. We've got space there for pars in as well. In. If I got time, I will put little tiny strips down here. But if I got time, not on video, obviously, I'll do it off camera. And then we've got our two big paw clips and a packet there. And this lifts up, this lifts up, this lifts up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 15 odd recipes there. And then this goes in there. Just make sure they're tucked in. Beautiful. And then we've got this gorgeous side pocket, which uh, will hold more recipe cards in there as well. And then over to the back, we've got our double and our double belly band under there. And then we've got our side pockets, which we've got there. So let's see now if my glue gun is hot enough. Love this. Oh, it doesn't come very far, that's the only thing. Wrong way round, hurry up, gain and twist it round. The pattern should be there. I may have to take that off now because it's it's already dried. Just peel off the old. Go. Make sure we got it the right way this time, Gaina. So I'm just adding more glue. Just going to glue that into place. Love it. this these will come up these will thread through and then I can tie them in a gorgeous bow and I'll keep that shut How pretty are they? And that, what, what, oh, it might. Oh gosh, you know what? You'll have to think of something. I had it all planned in my head and I've tied it in a knot now. I know what to do now. I can get it undone. Sausage, just thread one through. And then tie it in a bow. There we 
go. That's what's going to keep my gorgeous album closed. These gorgeous threads. Absolutely beautiful. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So there's that gorgeous bow. There's my book. I tell you what, I've just got to do. I just found these lovely little strawberries and cupcakes that were gifted to me off the gorgeous Karen Resenbrink. How cute. I might add them somewhere in the book as well. And I've got these hearts and shapes. They're blue. They're perfect. What do you reckon? Let me just grab my stickers. And they're in the shape of little banners. Squash down. There is no stickers left whatsoever, so I can pop that in the bin now. Let's have a look. so frustrating having no nails and yes it is authentic paper company papers authentic paper authentic papers dot com so there we go there is my huge 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 lever bowl Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous recipe book. I hope you like it because I had so much fun making it. So I really would love a thumbs up and a share. That'd be great. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, that would be amazing too. You can do that by pressing this button down here. If you want to be notified of when I upload, please don't forget to press the subscribe button. Uh, the little bell then they will send you notifications and I've just realized something quickly before we go my I've got a pocket in there I don't have one in there and I've got no stickers left but I do have these little cards so I might add some of these cards to uh, these one, two, three, and maybe a whisk, or even that, uh, and then we'll pop them in as we go through the, what's it called, the walk through, add a few extra bits, and then these are all pockets as well, up the top. do fit because I've got one in already. Another pocket there. More recipe cards. Or if you know somebody who just likes food and you want to give them a 
an album, then this would suit my sister. Her and her boyfriend absolutely adore eating out and they take pictures of everything. But mainly on their phones. Who are actually prints pictures off these days? Yeah, but there you go. There is my gorgeous ingredient album. Start to finish. Recipe book. And I adore it. I adore it. I'm going off now to have some food. Because I'm starving. And I'm going to love and leave you all. Take care. Till next time. Bye.